Good evening. We are in St. Louis. We uh, had a full day here in the city. We hung out with a ton of kids and parents and staff at uh, Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital here. Um, the Brewers Cardinals game is going on just a few blocks from here. I'm watching it on TV. It's actually the first baseball game I've ever watched willingly in my entire life. And the stadium is so close, I can actually hear the clapping and all that stuff through the window before it comes through the TV. It's kind of a cool thing. Um, so we've had an incredible day here in St. Louis. Um, you may be able to tell I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm hoping that a good night's sleep will sort that out. Um, our dedication tonight is uh, to a little girl named Giselle Arrington who was diagnosed with ALL, uh, the uh, common form of leukemia, when she was an infant in 2008. Um, her family, she and her family are from Raleigh, North Carolina, and uh, she went through the, uh, she went through treatment, and um, she um, passed away in September of 2010. So, um, just before we started our second Pablo Love Across America, she passed away. And um, we, uh, we, are, we always try and spread our dedications out geographically. Kind of works out really well that way anyway. And uh, we, uh, because of where we're from in Los Angeles and because of where so many of our writer friends are who bring some of these dedications to us. We've so far uh, uh, on this year's Pablo Across America, we've tended to focus on the West Coast and here in the Midwest, and I'm happy to throw some love over to the East Coast, to the South, to the Southeast, and um, to remember Giselle, um, who passed away at two and a half years old, whose almost her entire life was spent as a cancer patient. Being in a hospital today with kids, with their parents, with medical staff, um, in an environment that I'm very familiar with, I'm reminded that um, this, uh, this pediatric cancer game is an absolute um, all-in game. I mean, we were in rooms with kids today where the parents, uh, one of the parents usually was sleeping on the day bed. In a couple of cases, the mom or dad who were sleeping didn't even wake up uh, when we were in, in the room with the uh, child life um, uh, man there, David. Um, this is a testament to just how tired you get when your child's in treatment. And unless it's a doctor or someone giving your child a test or some medical uh, 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 situation that needs your attention, uh, some dude's coming in with with a bike and talking about crazy stuff, it, it's not going to get you out of bed. Um, my heart is very much open to Giselle's memory and to her family in, in North Carolina. It's, um, it's, uh, these things are never easy for me to do at night. And, um, especially hanging out with a lot of young kids in the hospital today. I'm, uh, I'm just pretty raw right now. So um, I'm going to get myself to bed so I can hopefully uh, get on my bike tomorrow and ride 100.7 miles and uh, 